has been a while. Hey world, YouTube world, Nick Shepard here of the iLone Project, and it is time yet again for another quick unboxing video. So grab your popcorn, get comfortable, and let's get into it. So, it has been a while guys, I haven't done an unboxing video in quite some time because I haven't really bought anything in, in a little bit, but I recently broke my monitor so I went out and bought a new one and I like to show you guys what's in the box when I buy these things. But before we get into that, again with the housekeeping, if you guys want to reach out to me about anything, whether it's photography, videography, or crypto, or investing, or whatever. And again, guys, there's a lot of scammers out there right now. So if you do want to reach out to me, by all means, reach out to me on my Twitter. I am verified on my Twitter, and with that blue check mark, you know it's me. You know it's not some fake account trying to take your money, or whatever these guys do, these scammer accounts. So like I said, recently I broke my video monitor and I had to go out and get a new one. Now, as per usual guys, this isn't gonna be a crazy in-depth review video. There are tons of those out there on this exact monitor because it's been out for quite some time, as well as I have to pay for these things with my own money. I'm not a cool YouTube channel yet that gets these things sent to me to do reviews on them. So these guys can kick rocks until they start sending me free stuff. But I do like you guys to see what is inside the box, so let's go ahead and get into it. Today I will be unboxing the Mo Man, Mo Man, Mo Money, 5.5 touchscreen uh, video monitor. Believe it or not, guys, I did a little bit of research on these things. I looked for a handful of them before I decided to pull the trigger on the Mo Man. And to be completely honest, I'm pretty sure these are all just white label monitors that these guys buy from wherever and slap their name on them. So there's a handful of these out there that are pretty much exactly the same. I picked this one because it was the one that was in front of me at the time. I think I paid 160 to 174 on Amazon. Link in the description per usual. But again, I'm pretty sure these are white label guys. They're budget. You know, I'm the budget guy because I'm a broke bitch. It's just the truth of it. So this is what I bought and yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. If I can, if I can get it open. It's tattooed shut. Uh, holy crap. <laughs> that was ridiculous. It was like suction cup shut. So first things first, we had a cool pouch. I'm always stoked when companies send you their gear in a pouch because Trust me, as a photographer and a videographer that is shooting in the field constantly as a run and gun guy, things get broken, which is why we're here right now, showing you a new one that I had to buy because I broke my other one. So this is cool. Way to go, Mo Man. So you get a cool little pouch, got a carabiner on the back. I guess you can hang that to your backpack. I'm, I'm not gonna be hanging it from my belt clip or my keychain or anything, but that's cool. Nothing else inside that part of the box this bad boy up and we'll go into the little, little pouch do that thing first so we've got warranty card warranty card I think the other one might have been instructions we don't look at instructions from here ever you get an SD card a 128 megabyte SD card which isn't a ton but these new monitors you can load LUTs onto them so that's what the SD card is for you get a hex wrench to work on it. I don't know what you'd be doing working on these monitors. It probably voids the warranty, but it's in there. You get a felt wipe and the monitor itself. Fancy, fancy. Bingo, bingo. We'll go into that in just a second. Let's see what else is in the bag first. No, here's the instructions. These are the instructions. We don't read instructions. You get. Holy crap, this stuff is so hard to open. Come out. Are you too good to come out? Come on, little buddy, it's all right. Come on out. See the world. And then I was born. <laughs> Just having fun in here today, guys. This, I'm assuming, is going to be your sunshade. Oh, they give you an HDMI to micro HDMI cable. Cool, so you don't have to go buy one. More HDMI. You get some kind of mount. 
some other cable so you can plug this bad boy in the AC adapter. This is going to be this is going to be your sun visor. This clips onto the monitor. I'll show you guys how that works in just a second. But that is what is inside. And these things, don't eat these, ever. So here is the monitor itself, guys. It's got a quarter inch on the bottom, a quarter inch on the side, HDMI in and out, so you can run to an external monitor or to a remote DC in, as well as DC out, so you can power other things with it. You've got a headphone jack, you've got a spot for your SD, power button on top. Again, they, guys, there are a ton of these out there, and I've looked at them, they, they all look like the exact same, so I'm pretty sure these are all white labels. So, again, Moman is just the one I picked. But for the sunshade, this is kind of cool. Clips on. So that's cool. Besides that, y'all, not much to it. It's a monitor. It does really cool stuff. It's a touchscreen. Guys, I'm not the crazy tech guy. I don't get into too much detail. It's another reason why I don't do reviews, honestly. I, I'm not the review guy. It would probably drive me nuts to go over every single spec on this thing. It's just not what I'm into. Maybe one day again, if these companies start sending me stuff for free, I'll start doing reviews. But until that time, we just unbox them, guys. It's not rocket science. It's a cheap budget monitor. So, that's it. The Moman M5 touchscreen monitor, guys. 5.5 inch. And that's it. I will see you next time I decide to unbox some white label monitor and get creative. Deuces.